Hello dear students, our lesson today is a story lesson, The Secret Garden. Chapter 8 Deccan came to the house every day and the three children made plans. Then, one sunny morning, they were ready to take Colin outside. Remember? When Deccan and Mary decided to take Colin to the secret garden, they thought that going to the secret garden or taking uh, Colin to the secret garden would make, would make him feel better. So they decided to make some plans and on one sunny morning they were all ready to take Colin to the secret garden as you see here in the picture. First, he called the servants to talk to them. Okay, here we find that Colin calls the, all the servants and decided to tell them something. What was that thing? I'm going out this afternoon with Deccan and Mary. Nobody will come with us and I don't want anybody in the gardens. Is that clear? He asked and the servants agreed. So, Colin here asked all the servants not to go out in the gardens because he would go with Deccan and Mary and they all agreed or they all said okay. At two o'clock they carried Colin downstairs and put him in his wheelchair. Now if we look at Colin in the picture we will find him sitting on a wheelchair and Deccan is pushing him. Or helping him. Then Deccan pushed the chair through the empty gardens and Mary walked beside them. They stopped at the tall wall. Okay, here if you look at the picture you will find that the gardens were really empty. No one of the servants went to the gardens as Colin ordered them. So he Deccan pushed the chair through the empty gardens and I want you to underline empty gardens. Also, I want you to underline wheelchair. Again, at two o'clock, they carried Colin downstairs and put him in his wheelchair. So Colin went to the garden on a wheelchair. Who pushed him or who helped him? Yes, as you see in the picture, Deccan did. Okay, why were the gardens empty? Empty here means nobody was there. No one of the servants went there. Why? Because Colin ordered them not to go. Page 29 Is this it? asked Colin. Where is the door? It's behind those branches, answered Mary. Now, close your eyes. Colin opened his eyes inside the garden. Oh, he laughed. I can feel the magic here. I feel strong. He looked at everything in the garden and asked lots of questions. Look there, a big branch has broken off that tree. Okay, now, as you can see here, Deccan and Mary took Colin into the secret garden. How did he feel when he went inside the garden? Yes, he felt the magic and he felt very strong. He looked at everything and he was asking Mary and Deccan a lot of questions. And then he looked at a big branch that has broken off a tree. Well, it's very old, said Deccan and looked at Mary. Okay, does anyone know what this branch is? Yes, very good. It was the branch which fell off the tree and killed his mother. So Colin didn't know about his mother's fall. Oh, 
There is my friend the robin, she shouted suddenly and pointed to the bird. So here we find that Mary sees the robin, her friend, and when she saw the robin, she suddenly shouted and pointed to the bird. Where, where, he asked and forgot about the old tree. Oh, I want to stay here all day, he said. Let's have a picnic. You can get food from the house. So again, this is the main idea of these two pages that Deacon and Mary carried Colin downstairs and put him in his wheelchair. Deacon pushed the chair through the empty gardens and Mary walked beside them. Also, Deacon went back for a picnic basket and the children sat on the grass and ate. They laughed and they had a lot of fun. Okay, let's look here at the picture. Now the children are sitting together in the secret garden with a picnic basket in front of them. Deacon went back for a picnic basket and the children sat on the grass and ate. And I want you to underline a picnic basket. Underline these two words, a picnic basket. They were laughing and having fun when Colin pointed at the wall. Who is that man? Look here. Yes, there is a man standing over there behind the wall. Who saw him? Yes, Colin. He pointed at the wall and said, Who is that man? They turned round quickly. Ben Weatherstaff was standing on top of a ladder with an angry face. So what is a ladder? Yes, it is something used for climbing walls or tall walls. So Ben Weatherstaff was standing on a ladder with a very angry face. He was angry with the children. You bad little girl, he shouted. How did you get in there? Mary was frightened. The robin showed me the way, she said. Colin was angry. Do you know me, old man? he asked. Ben looked at the boy in the wheelchair. You are the sick child, aren't you? So here... While the children were sitting in the garden, who was looking at them or who was watching them from behind the tall wall? Yes, Ben Weatherstaff, who stood on the top of a ladder and watched them with a very angry face. I'm not sick, Colin answered angrily. Look at me. Colin took Deacon's arm and stood up from the wheelchair. Ben began to cry. Oh, my boy, my boy, he could only say. Listen to me, said Colin. I am your master. This is my garden and we will come here every day. You must keep our secret. You must not tell anyone. Now, climb down that ladder and come here. He turned to Deacon, help me walk to that tree, please. So Colin here answered him very angry and he told him that he, they, that he should keep their secret. He shouldn't tell anybody that they are or they came to the secret garden and he ordered him to come near. Ben came through the door, so... He went down the ladder and he came through the door of the secret garden. Look at me, you see. I can walk, said Colin. Why were you on that ladder? So here Colin stands up from his wheelchair and he tries to walk. He also asked Ben Weatherstaff 
Why were you looking at us or why were you on that ladder? I worked in this garden, began Ben. I worked for your mother. So he was looking after the garden since his mother lived. She loved it and I loved it too. When she died, I decided to look after her garden, said the old gardener. Of course, this is Ben Weatherstaff. So, he loved the garden very much, and when his mother died, or when Colin's mother died, he decided to look after the garden. Every spring, I climbed over the wall and did some work. Nobody knew. Then you can keep secrets, Ben Weatherstaff. That's good. You must not tell anyone about this, ordered Colin. Yes, sir. This is your garden now, said Ben. Would you like to plant a flower? He asked. Oh, yes, smiled Colin. He sat on the ground and made a hole with Deacon's help. Underlying ground and underlying hole. Ben brought a rose and Colin planted his first flower. I, I want you to underline the word rose. So, here Ben Weatherstaff promised that he would keep their secret. He would not tell anybody about the children and that they came to the secret garden. As or as Colin ordered him. He said, it's okay, now this is your garden, and he asked him to plant a flower. Colin agreed, Colin smiled, he said, yes, I'll do that. He sat on the ground, he made a hole with Deacon's help, or he helped, Deacon, Deacon helped him to make a hole in the ground. Ben brought a rose, a flower, and Colin planted his first flower. Let's read the main idea. Ben Weatherstaff worked in this garden, and when Colin's mother died, he decided to look after the garden. He also asked Colin He also asked Colin to plant his first flower, and Colin agreed. Okay, now let's look at the following question. Question C in the booklet. Why did Ben Weatherstaff climb over the wall of the secret garden? What did Ben see inside the garden? Ben climbed over the wall because he worked in this garden and looked after it. Every spring, he climbed over the wall and did some work, but nobody knew. He saw the three children inside the garden. Okay, now it's your turn to answer exercises A and B. Open your copybooks and write them. Good luck.